Today, Rob the Ice Cream Man and Hello Neighbor have combined into one. This is gonna be awesome! What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here, and today we're back into the world of Hello Neighbor, continuing our story of puzzles from the past by Artem Sosarev 2003. So, um, we're going into this game, and I guess we're adding our own little story here today. Today's a little bit different, you know? We like to play games differently. That's our whole thing. You know, a game tells you to do one thing, we do the other. It's it's just basically the concept of life. You know, pave your own path, do your own thing. Today, I guess we're going in and kind of um, messing up the story even more. So in our previous episodes, we have made it into the basement of the neighbor. In this story, the neighbor is the mayor. He's corrupt, he can do whatever he wants, and we're trying to figure out what is going on. You see, the thing is, it's very suspicious because today, Rod the Ice Cream Man has now merged into the game. I spent the last, I think, three hours kind of trying to make the neighbor have the mask of Rod. And we're going to make it kind of our own little story here today that maybe Rod the Ice Cream Man and Hello Neighbor work together in some sort of way. Now, in the game of ice cream, um, it seems like there's no parents, there's no cops, nobody's ever stopping this guy. And it seems like maybe this neighbor mayor is kind of helping him. So as we look at the game and try to figure out everything that's going on, this is going to be a pretty intense episode of kind of story and puzzle building. I mean, this mod is already looking pretty insane. Just the detail and everything. It, it looks pretty cool. But before we begin, let me tell you about the merch because it is awesome and it is going away pretty soon. December 15th is around the corner and the merch is going to be gone forever by then. So you got to get your merch while they last. Um, you got the jackets, you got the shirts, everything is going uh, pretty cool. I got mine and uh, I think when they're all ordered and everything's going to be shipped out, I think on the 20th. So you got to get them before they're gone, I guess. And um, one lucky person will get a signed poster among the people who buy the merch. You know? So, thank you guys for checking it out. I've, there's so many people, you know, have already checked it out, got the merch. Thank you guys. You guys are so awesome. But, let's get back into the game. So, um, I added in the model a while ago for Hello Neighbor and Rod kind of mixed together. And here, without further ado, is what it's gonna look like. I put it in the beginning. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. It looks so different when I'm trying to edit it in the model. But, oh, wait, wait, hold. The model editor? But, oh man, that looks creepy. Okay, so he's sleeping, obviously, but um, as you can see, the neighbor has gotten the mask. It seems like Rod maybe has given him a gift. You know, he's like, here, you kidnap kids, I kidnap kids, let me give you my mask or something. Jeez, that's so dark. Both of them are really, like, dark characters. All right, but as you can see, um, the mask is looking pretty good. It actually is, like, it's, it says preview all over it. You know, like, Rod gave him, like, one of his, like, uh, it's just a test mask. Here you go, it's a preview. Oh, wait, that looks like it was, oh, jeez, our character is, like, leaning in. That scared me for a second. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, you can see, this is a model from the Ice Cream Game in Hello Neighbor. I mean, we're walking around. Um, Outwit is actually coming up with a way to kind of infuse the game of Hello Neighbor and uh, Ice Cream together. And he is just so amazing. Oh, as always, just check out his channel. He is a literal genius. Uh, maybe in the future, um, he can uh, help us out in actually putting Rod, the Ice Cream Man, into the game. Hello, Rod Neighbor. Would you like some water? There you go. Oh, it just goes right through his face. Oh. Yeah, it seems like the mask is not that solid for some reason. There you go. Here, here. Take... Take that. Take that. And it's gone. Would you like to watch some TV? <laughs> Jeez. Um, it, it feels like you can't stack anything upon the neighbor's face, but you know what? The neighbor seems to be sleeping pretty heavily. Um, it's kind of comedic, the fact that he doesn't wake up. <laughs> the neighbor is just, he has TVs and chairs on him and he's just breathing and knocking them off of himself. Whoa, whoa, I got the TV to float midair. Hold on, voila, oh no. Okay, why am I just, I'm literally just sitting here just chucking things at the neighbor's face. He's having a really deep sleep. This new mask should just be like, they should just sell it as like the new sleep mask. The Rod Ice Cream Man sleep mask. You know what it seems like? It seems like Rod and the neighbor are um, one of the same. It seems like they, they do do... <laughs> they do do similar things in the sense that, um, uh, what is it? They both kidnap people. 
Um, it seems like the neighbor has secret areas. Rod has secret areas as well. Um, I think Rod has the stall. The neighbor has, you know, his basement, which we are now exploring, kind of nonchalantly, just walking around doing whatever we want because he's asleep. But it seems like, um, yeah, like Rod would really be friends with this guy. Now, um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I've been looking at a lot of key locations uh, of like things that would be, but it's like nothing's in here. I don't know if I need one of the, uh, what is it, the records to kind of lower this, but I can't even jump in here anyway. I don't know. I don't know what to do. So, maybe we should do a little beatbox lesson real quick because you guys seem to like that. Um, I was actually kind of doing a little bit of research on uh, things I could do to help teach you, and it seems like one of the best ways to learn beatboxing is to kind of speak um, foreign words. Um, and I was beatboxing today, and I said the word pushka. And it seems like that would be a word, and apparently it is. But it is a really good beatboxing word, pushka. And so, <laughs> what that word means is the gun, I think, in Bulgarian. So if you walk around, you could literally say pushka, and it's kind of like you're beatboxing already. So you basically start up the word by uh, speaking as hard and as difficult as you could possibly, like, pushka, you know? And then you kind of just extract all the little letters out of there. So you go, pushka, 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 See, the thing is, though, if you don't do that in front of your Bulgarian friends, because you'll look like you're just going the gun. So it's like the gun, the gun, the gun, the gun, the gun, the gun. So that's what you're saying in Bulgarian, apparently. All right. So um, beatbox lesson down. Practice pushka, pushka. And uh, yeah, beatboxing is fun. You make your own music anytime you want. All right, so as we explore, I've literally found nothing, but except this cool monitor. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's sick. Wait. Oh, I hear something opening. Oh my gosh, do you hear that? It's it's so, it's barely heard, but you know what? That uh, That's, I guess, a switch. I would have known. You know, the, <laughs> the neighbor just lays down in bed and he like turns on his monitor. That looks so creepy. Oh my gosh, it's just a bright monitor to the left. And uh, apparently that opens up a lever somewhere. I mean, we're figuring stuff out. The neighbor's just sleeping. Um, and it has just gotten a little bit weird. Why is there so much dirt in this house? All right, so we're investigating a little bit more. The sounds in this game are a little creepy. I don't know what I'm supposed to be finding. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, maybe we have to find a switch. So I'm just gonna like knock. Whoa, hey, um, painting! Calm down there a second, buddy. Hold on, can we climb on that? Oh, oh <laughs> I ruined the glitch. Here, 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 here's another chance. Whoa! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do that again. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's uh, let's put this one in there. Oh, it doesn't work. It's only this painting. Okay. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. So um, I just found this table that has a picture of the neighbor's monitor. The thing that we figured out, but that's kind of weird if you think about it, right? Like the neighbor, he took a picture of his monitor, probably to remind himself that that's a key location, right? That's like if you took a picture of your keys by your front door going, that's my keys. Look at the picture, don't forget. So we're gonna take our buddy here. I forgot what we used to call this lamp, but I'm gonna call this little lamp um, Max. And this little lamp Max is gonna help us as we go. Um, we're gonna take him along with us. We need a red key, so that's what we're looking for right now. And Max is just gonna go with me. Uh, we're gonna explore together. Max, go, no, go see if there's anything over there. Sorry, buddy. There's Go tell me if there's anything. <laughs> I feel so bad. I just chucked him at a wall. So uh, me and Max found nothing in this room uh, once more. I think uh, I think there's a lot of nothing in this basement. Oh, okay. Well, there's a camera there. Max, you mind taking that out for me? Here you go, buddy. Here you go. Just oh, oh barely. Thank you. All right, that's cool. Okay, good. Max is taking out that camera. We don't have to worry about waking up the neighbor now. I think we're good, but there has to be something in here, right? Ooh, I don't know what we got going on here, but it looks like there's a nice dinner for me and Max. Uh, Max is gonna take a nap, I guess. And I have a, I have a spoon, I have a plate, I have a cup. Let's get some of this tea going here. Um, okay, you know, I guess, yeah, I, was, I wasn't feeling tea anyway. All right, uh, Max, let's get out of here. It's weird that somehow, when I'm messing around in these games, I start to figure out stuff. Oh my gosh, what is, 
what is going on in here? So it seems like in the context of our story, this would be kind of a hub or a center where the neighbor would kind of be spying on the whole neighborhood, right? And it seems like while he's not here, everything is off, right? He doesn't need to inspect anything, but this is really creepy. Oh my gosh. There is a statue of the neighbor in here. Hold on, can I break this glass? No, I can't. Sorry, Max. Um, here, hold on. Let me set Max down. Let me just start throwing things at this glass. Can I break it at all? Oh, man, that's cool. I've never seen a statue of the neighbor, but I, th I think that's pretty nice. That's that's cool. I've never seen something like that before. All right, so the adventures of Dak, Blake, and Max continue as we try to do stuff. I think we need to turn off this. Okay. I think we've done something. All right, cool. All right, so I guess we're just gonna move forward. Rod, the neighbor, ice cream man, combined person is still sleeping on the couch, hopefully. Like, if they got up and started walking around, that'd be really creepy, but I think we're good. Me and Max are just gonna continue forward. Okay, what is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so Max, I'll grab this out. All right, and then um, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing with that. I think we just need to cool it down, so it might need to just sit there. Um, unless this is full of water. No, nope, it's not. All right, so is there anything else? Oh, red key, red key, red key. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now while that cools down for like three hours, it seems like, let's move this way and see what the red key opens. So behind this door, it seems like we have a bathroom. Um, nothing too scary. And Wait, where's Max? Hold on. Max, there you go. All right, come here, buddy. Um, hey, look, it's your mother. I think I called her Ellen. This is uh, Ellen here. Oh, sorry. I guess Ellen's gonna kick Max. Get away from him. If you're gonna kick him, then he's gonna be mine forever. Get out of here, Ellen. All right. Oh, wait. Is that... Is that another Max? Oh, no. <laughs> Who's the real Max? <laughs> if, if Max had a face, I'm guaranteeing you that he would look at me like... Dude, you've been carrying me this whole time. What? All right. Um, I have no idea if there's anything in here, but I'm gonna check the whole place. See if anything is... Uh, going on hold on max light up this area for me anything nope nothing all right we oh we need the crowbar for that okay so that's the next thing is there uh water in there looks like no but maybe uh yeah we can cool it down in there all right all right so we're gonna have to do the painstaking task of bringing that all the way over there just over and over again but um gotta do it all right i've been doing this for just a little bit and I think we are almost there. Here we go. I swear if this thing cools off by the time I get here. Uh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop glitching. All right, get in in here, in here. We're gonna give uh, our crowbar a bath real quick. There we go. Is that fine? Are you, are you good? Are you gonna cool off now or no? It doesn't seem like it's cooling off. Oh wait, there we go, there we go. Perfect. Fine. All right, we're actually solving puzzles. Max is along the way with us and um, Feels pretty good. So, we've opened the door. Uh, Max, can you can you tell me what's down there? Oh boy, Max is very brave, just going into rooms. Okay, um, I think there's nothing here. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, but it seems like there's a lot of traps around this corner. Oh, ow! Jeez, who does that? Um, <laughs> the neighbor, obviously. But um, it seems like there is more to solve. So, um. I don't know why, but this is the most chaotic room I've ever seen in my life. There's just, um, I guess apples being shot at a bed. We got the roof leaking into just puddles. There's just a dirt pile in here, a, a fireplace with a clock, and then a hole with water in it. What is going on in here? What? What is this room? What do you call this room? All right. I mean, I haven't found anything, but there probably is something in here. And I think I just want to go forward to make sure. Oh, okay. So we probably have to find a wrench. Where, where am I going from here? Oh, wait, look, look what we found. Okay, so we found this, which we can bring back here, right? We put that on there. We spin that. Um, I think we're, we're draining out the water now, right? Oh, yes. Here we go. Here we go. Sharky's not going to be Sharky anymore. We're going to take away his water. I feel bad now. He's just swimming, having fun. And then we're just like, nah. We don't want you to do that. I mean, he does hurt us. So, I mean, that's that. Oh, so I found a magnet walking around, and I think I'm going to use it to try to find a wrench. I I can just keep pulling in stuff until I find something. But um, I'm not sure where it can be. All right, so I ended up walking around for a little bit, and I found the wrench in the dark. 
just so happened to be under here. I think I found it by accident just walking around. So I found the wrench. I mean, that was a hard puzzle, given the fact that I'm not even given a flashlight, but I am given something better than a flashlight. Blah, 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 blah. Flashlight, uh, Max. Max here, I think, is better than any flashlight. So let's go and use this wrench. And I think that will be good. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep, 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 okay. And uh, moving forward, what do we got? Okay, so we just have more stuff. This is Jack the Lamp. We met Ellen before. Um, let's see how he treats uh, Max here. Hey, Max. Oh, look. Jack is so nice with his baby. I mean, he kind of just, like, let his baby fall over. But, you know what? It's better than Ellen, who kicked Max. Hmm. I've just noticed that a lot of this stuff is movable. Um, I thought this was just a lot of blocking stuff, but I guess we can go into this room. Hold on. Oh, we can. You know, I've been playing so many mods nowadays where, like, there's just stuff that you can't move. And, uh, this just looks like one of them. Hold on, hold on. We gotta get everything out of here. Jeez. We're just looking through the doorknob, uh, really fast. There we go. Ooh. Okay, so what is in here? It's probably gonna be a lever, because there's... Yeah, there's, like, two things we need to open. So we're gonna look for a switch, I guess. Max, are you ready for another job? Uh, nope. <laughs> he didn't even break it. He just kind of hit his head. Sorry. Sorry again, Max. I don't... I don't know. I didn't know that was not breakable. So is there anything that we could use magnetically? Oh, wait. What? Did I just... I just walked on through. Wait, is this? What, you could, you could just push this giant fence? What have I gotten this strong before? You know what, maybe things changed. I'm a strong man, we're moving and getting things to, whoa, hold on. Is that a mixture? That's a mixture one, whoa. That's a Max combined with Jack, whoa. All right, this room is getting creepier and creepier. That door doesn't open. I don't have no idea if that's supposed to be like that. Oh, probably not. I'm probably supposed to be able to get into there. Probably just have to push my way in. Okay, here we go. Now, what's in here? What's in here? It's a, it's a little uh, dark, but I think we can find some stuff. Oh my gosh. So we have found a key. I think this is going to bring us into here. Oh wait, we have to go back to the safe. Here's the safe. Unlock. Yes, okay. We got more green key here. It's like the color of Max. We also got money. Eh, who cares about money? What does the green key do? Um, probably more forward. We have the exit this way, apparently. Oh! Oh! Hey, buddy! What's up? How's it going there, neighbor? When you took off your mask? Hey! Oh my gosh! So he's walking around. Oh my gosh. And he's leaving. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, I didn't expect that. Okay, so I think it's just more this way. Is there anything else? Oh, I see it now. It's very, very dark, but there's a key. Oh, oh my gosh. There's a, there's a lot to this basement. Jeez, okay. Um, there's probably gonna be a switch. So oh, wait, wait. Can we move this out of the way? No, 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 no. Okay, we have to go in here. All right, so we have now opened up this area, but this... Still needs a lever. I guess we have to find that. It's probably hidden in the dark somewhere. So we're gonna take our buddy Jack here and kind of just try to find something. All right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just found it. I don't know if that unlocks it, but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes. All right, there we go. Max, click the button. Thank you, buddy. And now I think that we get to escape. Okay. Now what is behind this? I have no idea. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, you know what? There's gonna be a chase here. The neighbor's probably gonna try to get me, but I think I'm ready for it, and I got Max with me, so I'm ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, am I good? Am I good? Okay, you know what? I, I got scared for no reason. I was just scared that the neighbor, because the neighbor always chases me down these hallways. Okay, and now... Huh. This is really different. Okay. This is, um, kind of weird. Okay. So, that closed off. We got a creepy TV going on, and I think we're gonna jump over all of the stuff to make it back out. I guess we're gonna have to see what the neighbor's doing on the surface and try to figure out some more mysteries, but I think we just beat the basement. Yo, look, look at that, look at that detective skills going. We got things done, and I think, what, what, what was the next thing? We get to see a little cutscene? Is it just gonna move? Whoa, what is the explanation of what is going on? What? Where am I? What? Am I in my own house? What? 
Okay. All right. So as I jump on my bed, I think I'm going to leave it here. I feel like we've done a lot. We've also mixed our story in here and kind of merged two games together in the idea and the concept and the story of Rod kind of working together with the neighbor. And maybe in the future, we can kind of mix the games even more. It feels like that's a good idea. Um, but yeah, hopefully I made you smile here today. Hopefully you learned some of the beatbox lessons and also learned how to do some puzzles. Puzzle making skills level up, you know? So yeah, that's all I want to do is I want to make you smile here today. If you're ever feeling bad, you can look up Dak Blake. We can play some games together and I can cheer you up once more. Check out the video we did yesterday with ice cream. Um, we did some awesome stuff. And also, don't forget to check out the merch while it lasts because, you know, if you're watching this in the future, it might already be gone. We might already be on a new wave of merch. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in this next video. Um, it's probably coming up right now and we're going to hang out and have some fun and do some more stuff. So thank you guys for watching and as always, peace out my dudes.